This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and also welcome to today's vlog. Today I actually have a day off so I thought it would be nice to head out and go outside and possibly go to a bookstore. It's been a long time since I've actually properly gone to a bookstore. <laughs> the dulcet and peaceful sounds of early morning construction. The question I always unfailingly get asked in any video when I'm wearing red lipstick is what colored lipstick you're wearing? This is the most common one I wear. So this is a bourgeois, I think that's how you pronounce the name, lipstick in the color 21. It's like the rouge velvet lipstick. I don't even know if they sell this color anymore. It is such a lovely, like warm-ish red. So yes, I have a day off today and I thought it would be nice to go out and do some fun stuff and take you guys along with me. Now I have to pick what I'm going to wear today. It's so convenient having this clothing rack here. It's like my favorite thing in this room. <laughs> this is probably a bad angle to film from now because of the lighting, but this clothing rack is from Ikea. I got this skirt a while ago from Dangerfield when they were having a sale. The same time that I got this one. Basically, if Dangerfield, which is one of the only like cute, quirky sort of stores we have here, if they're having a 50% off sale, that's like a very, very good time for me. I think this with like a black blouse would work well, but the one I want to pick has a lot of like frilly bits on the arms, so hopefully that's not too many thrills. Frills. <laughs> this is what I ended up with. There's not a lot of room here for moving but I ended up with this sort of blouse I can describe clothes and the blue skirt as well I feel like this works it's a little bit flamboyant there's a lot of things going on here but it's not so much that either of these things like overpower the other <laughs> I really love this material this ballerina tull material it's also a really lovely shade of blue as well it's such a stunning color this outfit ended up working better than I thought it necessarily would so that's good you can see in the background how long my hair has gotten. I'm actually getting to the point where I really, really need a haircut. It's been like 18 months since I last got a haircut. I'm gonna go swap over to my vlogging camera, which is my little camera. I haven't actually used that in ages because I haven't had a reason to go outside and vlog, but I'm gonna go grab my little camera, which is a lot more discreet than this one, <laughs> pack my bag and then get going. gardens so let's go find somewhere nice and shady to read. The book that I ended up getting was called Julia and the Shark which is about 
a little girl and a Greenland shark. It's like a very, very old shark. I think I found a nice little spot to sit. Unfortunately, right next to the gardens, there's actually a construction site. And the construction site has been building for the last, I don't even know how many years. Like I think it's been building since I was basically in university. It's been a very long time. Let's just pretend we can't hear the sound of machines. Let's open this book. This is the book I got. It's called Julia and the Shark. I think we might be a little bit cursed today when it comes to construction noises. Greenland shark, member of the sleeper shark family, is the longest living vertebrate known. Vertebrate? Vertebrate. Vertebrate vertebrate known. I think the shark in this story is supposed to be really quite old. I love the ocean. I love like deep sea creatures. I wanted to get this book because A, I find the idea of the Greenland shark really interesting and B, the cover is just so, so very pretty. I mean, look how stunning that is. The yellow with the gray. I think the illustration looks really, really cool. The writing style of this book so far is quite sweet. It's very conversational and I think this one is a middle grade. Already the prose feel quite magical and lovely so I am thus far enjoying it. I have gotten up to chapter four of Julia and the Shark. I'm so sorry. I really hope you can hear me over the construction but I've read a chunk of it so far and I'm enjoying it. I think the writing style as I said is really lovely and I really love the little illustrations, the little like pops of color and yellow. I like the layouts. It's just I'm having a nice time. Because we're reading oceany themed stuff I now want to go to the museum. There's a little section of the South Australian Museum that's ocean themed and I really love it. I really love the colors. I think it's been like a good five or so months since I last went to the museum. It's been ages anyway so I really would like to go pop in. The museum is free. It's completely open so you can just wander in and go have a look. Hello there, voiceover Christy just jumping in here to thank the wonderful sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is a website builder which allows people to create dynamic and beautiful websites. Squarespace is the platform that I use for my website and I honestly think that it's brilliant. I love that it's affordable and I love that there are loads of templates which are all very easy to use. It's super quick to set up your site and to get everything looking absolutely lovely. Squarespace has a wide range of benefits including powerful blogging tools so that you can categorize, share and schedule posts and in-depth analytics features to help you understand the people who are visiting your website. If you're looking to make a website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Christy and Jones to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. five years old and I actually just got lost in this little section I couldn't actually find my way out so that's quite funny <laughs> this 
speaking of when I was five though, I remember being really little and watching a TV show about like, it's about a king who was in a museum. And because of that, this used to be my favorite room in the whole museum because this is all like the ancient Egypt stuff. Coming here now as an adult is actually a lot smaller than I remember, but I still really, really like this room just because I loved it so much when I was little. I think this one's now my favorite room in the museum. I love the colors. I love all the little crustaceans and things hanging from the ceiling. I just find it so magical and lovely. And also just a little bit, this room reminds me of the museum from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Hello, I am all home now. I just made lunch. I probably look a little bit disheveled. In the end, after going to the museum, I had to run a few errands and I didn't end up filming them because they were just like boring things I had to get done. And then the errands that I did ended up taking like way longer than I had wanted. So it's like 3 p.m. and I am sitting down now to have lunch. I made some ham and cheese toasties, which I have here as I just showed you. I'm actually gonna sit down and watch Bridgerton. And the thing is, I have already seen Bridgerton. I watched it when it came out last year. Yep, last year, at the beginning of last year, I think it was. And it's not like it particularly blew me away at the time, but it's just that I wanted to have something to watch that was like a drama because with like getting to the end of the illustration project, I felt really like creatively drained and I just wanted to watch something to like absolutely turn my brain off. And I was gonna watch a new K-drama, like I was gonna start a new K-drama, but I knew that if I started something new, I'd absolutely get sucked into it and then I'd end up spending all of my time watching it. So I wanted to watch something that wasn't so engaging that I would end up spending all my time watching it. Um, hence why I'm re-watching Bridgerton for some reason. This is this is what I'm watching. There was actually supposed to be some cauliflower soup to go with these toasties. I made cauliflower soup this week, but for some reason I ended up like, I think just kind of messing up the amounts I was dishing out each day because we ended up finishing it up yesterday, but it was this really lovely cauliflower soup. Um, and so today instead I have two toasties instead to make up for it. But anyway, I'm going to eat these now. I think what I like about this show is not like necessarily the story because there's a few things with the story that are like not super great. I just genuinely really love how flamboyantly colorful it is and how bright all like the set design is and the costuming. It's just how everything's put together like color wise makes me really happy. So even though I didn't want to get hooked on this drama, I'm still like enjoying watching it even though I've already seen it before. But the reason I picked Bridgerton is because it doesn't have that many episodes. It's only got eight episodes. So I figured that like I really couldn't lose myself down a rabbit hole of watching this but now this is like the third episode I've watched in two days so that's how <laughs> that's how that's going <laughs> So 
so in the end I have now actually finished this book. I ended up reading the last sort of chunk of it all in one sitting. I absolutely flew through it. This book only has 200 pages and the font is, is quite large so it didn't take very long to read at all. But what I wasn't prepared for was how emotionally impactful the ending of this story was. I didn't just finish it, I had to like actually like step away for a few minutes because I was crying by the end. By the end of this book the ending ended up being really quite poignant and emotionally impactful and deep in a way I really wasn't expecting. I really enjoyed the themes that this book explored. I, I, I loved the like magical whimsical elements in here but I felt like it was really deep and the story here was very important and I really loved the way that the sort of visuals of the book added to the story. There's a section, I'm not going to show it to you in case there's spoilers in the text, but there's a little bit where all of the prose are sort of lined up kind of like a poem and it sort of forms the shape of a Greenland shark and of course the illustrations throughout this book are stunning. They're so, so beautiful. I love this little story and I, I it's a really, really beautiful middle grade book. I really enjoyed it. This is just my favorite type of middle grade, the type of middle grade that's whimsical and has a little bit of magic in it, but is also quite poignant and emotionally impactful and says something really like definitive about the world and, and you know, has that sort of like emotional depth. So this book definitely delivered in that realm. I thought it was stunning and I definitely recommend it. A very strong five stars. I really, really did enjoy this book. I thought it was wonderful. I had a really, really lovely day today. So I'm very glad that I got to share that with you guys. Um, I've mentioned quite a bit, alluded to quite a bit that I've been spending a lot of time on the illustration project recently and we have just about come to the end of working on that project which is very very exciting so there might possibly be an announcement at some point very soon so keep an eye out for that. This is a very cool time but I'm glad I got to spend today just sort of like having fun and going out and exploring because I've sort of had my head down and I've been working really really hard just to get like the last little bits of the illustration project done right before I finish working on it basically. I'm actually going to go to sleep now, it's pretty late, so I will say goodbye to you guys here. Thank you so so very much for watching this vlog and also an enormous thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel and allowing me to make these videos. Over on Patreon we have a whole bunch of lovely bonus content so if you're interested in checking out Patreon there's a link in the description down below. Take care everyone and I will see you next time. Bye bye!